digital chef and today I'm going to show you how to make masala chai also known as Indian spice tea some people even call it chai latte now not only am I going to show you how to make Indian chai but I'm going to show you how to make the best Indian chai it's going to be better than anything you've ever had after you make this you're not going to want chai at a restaurant anymore you can impress all your friends your loved one your spouse everybody Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now we're going to make, be making chai for two. It can be chai for you and your lover, you and your best friend, you and your neighbor. And for me, it's chai for me and my beautiful wife. So let's start with two tablespoons of either black tea or card, um, Darjeeling tea or you can even mix them, one of each. The next thing you're going to need is some fresh cloves. This is one teaspoon of fresh cloves. Then you're going to need some fresh cardamom. Now cardamom gives the chai that distinctive flavor. And I get the cardamom that's already in the little black seeds. You can see it in the store in the green seed pods, but it's much easier if you just have it already separated into the black seeds. You will also need some fresh cinnamon. This is about mm, an inch and a half stick. You will need some fresh ginger root, which I have cut into some chunks here. And this is um, about two inch by half inch chunks. And we'll also need two cups of water and two cups of milk. Okay, if you want, you can just throw the mixture straight into the pot and cook it. You can smash it with a spoon, but I like to grind up some of the ingredients just to even increase the flavor. Uh, I forgot, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper here, a few dashes. That'll just give it a little bit of heat. And what I did is I put the cardamom, the clove and the cinnamon into this quick coffee grinder and I'm going to grind it up real quick. Mmm, take a nice whiff of that. Man, that is, that is choice. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I did is I put two cups of water in this medium-sized saucepan. And I put the tea, the cardamom, the clove, the cinnamon, and the ginger. And I'm going to bring it up to a boil. Okay, you bring it up to a boil, and then you bring it up to a heavy boil. And you boil it like this for two minutes. What you're going to do is boil off some of the water. Okay, now that it's close to two minutes of a, of a piping hot boil, you add approximately two tablespoons of sugar. You could add two, you could add three, you could add one, depending on how sweet you like it. And then, what you do is pour approximately two cups of milk in, and just like that, and that gives you that chai coloring. There goes my two-minute timer. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn the heat down to about halfway and I'm going to watch it eventually it'll get close to coming up to a boil again you do not want to let it boil because you do not want the milk to burn you want to get it close to a boil and just keep it at that temperature close to a boil for about 10 to 20 minutes and then that again on that time is on how strong the, the tea flavor you'd like the stronger the flavor you go towards 20 minutes. The less of the strong tea flavor you want, then go closer to 10 minutes. One thing to think about 
is that when you added your milk, the more milk you add, the thicker the chai you have. So if you have a dear friend over, you add more milk, thicker chai. You just have a mere acquaintance over, and then it's less milk, thinner chai. And you'll know um, when you're at a friend's house or someone's house and they're making chai for you, how thick is their chai for you is how dear you are to them. Okay, one thing you noticed as you get close to a boil, and I hope you can see it here, the cream starts to come to the top, and you'll see the top of the mixture get white. And as you see that, you want to slowly stir the cream back into the mixture. And also that helps to prevent it from boiling. Okay, the last thing you have to do now is strain the chai through a strainer when you pour it into your glass. Just like that. And one more, just like that. Okay, so there you have it. The world's best chai. It's time for you to sit back, relax, and just have a sip of your